internet, in today's video I'm going to be telling my story of how I walked around a con all day with no shoes. <laughs> Great. Before I start, as you can tell my intro, it's dry, it's bland, it's not me. So I'm open to suggestions in not only the comments down below, but my Instagram story. Yay! With that out of the way, let's begin. Megacon 2022. I just want to say, this isn't the fault of the con, nor is it the fault of anyone at the con. The, the con was great. It had great photo shoot locations, well ventilated, because air conditioning. I feel like not enough cons have air conditioning. It was chill, there wasn't that many people. And because there wasn't that many people, the masquerade, it was brilliant. I didn't get the chance to watch it. However, I didn't need to, to know that it was great. The stage was sectioned off, kind of, not really, but you could see people crowding out the door to watch it. You could see the lights, you could hear the music. It, it must have been awesome, and I wish I could have been in it. That's where our story starts. So, me and my friend were going to the con together. She was going in her characters, and I was going as my first ever handmade cosplay, and probably the cosplay I'm the proudest of, Funtime Foxy. Now as you'll see from the story, it's obvious this is my first cosplay that I've made myself because mistakes I made led to this story happening. We were both ready, she was in full cosplay, and I wasn't in full cosplay but for good reason. I had the full body on, I just didn't have the head, the hands or the feet on so that when sitting in the car nothing got broke. Yeah, that didn't go according to plan, as you'll see. So in the car, nothing actually broke. The only thing that came off was the mic and the bow. They came off the torso, but minor things can be fixed, which I thought they could do. Cosplay repair, it exists. It's when we got out of the car where problems arose. So we stop in the car park so we can hop out the car. And I decided, okay, now I'm going to put the shoes on. One, to make life easy. Two, so the morph suit isn't touching the bare ground. Smart decision. I was putting the shoes on. The shoes were fine. I thought the body was fine. But what should have been, like, ding, 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 red flag, was that my friend's mum said, oh, the belt piece broke. At the time, I didn't know what the belt piece meant. I only realised the other day what the belt piece was. So I'm walking and it's about a one minute, two minute walk from car park to inside the NEC. How did so much go wrong in such little time? As we're walking I noticed that the pelvis piece, the belt piece, it, it was breaking, it was broken. The seams on each side they were coming off. Not only were they not attached to each other anymore, but they weren't attached to the leggings that I glued them to. So that wasn't great. Then as I was trying to hold that together, the crotch piece also broke at the seam. It wasn't attached anymore. The rest of the legs were fine. It was completely fine. It was just the pelvis part that was broke. So I'm crying because, oh my God, my cosplay is breaking and I was supposed to be in the masquerade. Now don't get me wrong, visually it's stunning, however I didn't think through sizing and testing it. Now I had people in my life asking me, oh are you going to do a test? Are you going to test that you can move around in it? And I was like, yeah, I can walk around in it. I'd never worn the full thing before. Technically I still haven't. I probably should have. Mistake number one. Mistake number two, the pelvis piece came apart because I didn't give an extra inch or two like I like you're supposed to do. As I'm crying, my friend goes, oh, the zip's come undone. Would you like me to zip that for you? I knew that the zip had not come undone. Something was wrong. Now, at the time, I thought that the zip had broke itself. I, you know when on a bag, the zip, it just pops open and you have to yank it back down and then oh it's fixed that's what i thought it was no 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 the zipper had popped out of the space that i could open for it in the torso so that 
that was not great. So after crying for an eternity, I decided, okay, I'm gonna compose myself and just walk to the car. I will try to fix it at cosplay repair, and then if I can't do that, I will come up with plan B. We got inside the NEC, piece of cake, you just walk right in. And then I was like, like I really wanted to do the masquerade, I'm really sad. So as I'm crying, I notice that a little girl is looking at me and her mom's like, oh, can we get a photo? I just wanna say, good etiquette, you asked the cosplayer for a photo, you didn't just take it. However, and now I'm not blaming the parent or the child, I understand the excitement. However, if a cosplayer is crying, or in any situation, if they're crying, resting, eating, don't ask for the photo. Wait, maybe stand around and wait, or see if you can find them again and go on about your day. Because in that situation, I was not mentally ready for a photo. But because I'm too nice, I was like, oh yeah, sure, let me put the head on. You can't see me crying underneath the head. So I tried to put it on. I don't know what my problem was, the head fits, it's custom made to my head, but for some reason I couldn't get it on, and in my struggle I broke one of the face plates. The face plate had come off. I was like, well, now this has just made me cry all over again, I've had to tell the little girl and her parent, look, I'm sorry, you'll have to come get your photo later. So I'm standing there and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? My cosplay's broke. I knew the one thing I had to do was drop out the masquerade. I didn't want to. It was my first ever time entering a masquerade. I, I was really looking forward to it because I thought I had a shot at winning the, the costume contest. And I still think I did. Anyway. So I'm phoning my friends who I'm supposed to be meeting up with at the con and I tell them my cosplay's broke, what do I do? Light bulb moment. At cons, a lot of artists, they sell their art on t-shirts. So I thought, okay, I can at least get a t-shirt. So then I decided I will make an outfit. My first thought was t-shirts from artists. My second thought, J fashion. It's not very often that I see this, but at cons, some sellers, they sell cosplays, full cosplays, or they sell J fashion, they sell outfits. That's where it began. I got inside the con, took everything off as much as I could, and I began just like walking around by myself, looking for anything. Word of advice, don't walk into a con and immediately go by yourself. There is a reason you're advised to go with friends because I, I got lost immediately. I had to ask loads of people, do you know anywhere that sells clothes? Do you know if anyone sells clothes? Do you know if anyone does this? My first thought was, do you know anywhere that sells clothes? Then I was like, do you know anywhere that sells skirts? Ding, ding, ding. Right on the money. That's where someone pointed me in the direction of a J fashion seller. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be saying their name right. Dame. I'll put their business card on the screen, but lifesavers. I saw that they did trousers and shirts that I, I would wear in my day-to-day -day life. So I asked them prices and I was like, mm, not really my price range. Then I saw they had dresses and I'll put a photo on screen of me wearing the dress, but I'll get the dress as well. This dress, I saw this dress on the rack and was like, that's it, that's the one I need. So I got it. I asked for the price, I asked if I could have it. Both answers were yes, obviously, yes, you can have the price, yes, you can have the dress if you pay for it. Now, I wouldn't usually pay this much for anything, but not only was I in a sticky situation, but considering the type of fashion that it is, and the appearance, the uniqueness of it, the cuteness of it, I decided, okay, I have no other choice. I want this, I need it. It was 55 quid, which is like this many dollars. So not bad in my opinion for what it is. 
I tried it on, it fit. Now I was very surprised because Lolita, J Fashion kind of things don't usually fit me. They're made for smaller bodies, I'll just admit it, and I'm, I don't have one of those, which I'm okay with, but in this situation, I wasn't going to be okay with it not fitting, but it did, so problem solved. The outfit came with a blouse, a dress, a petticoat, which I was so happy for, like, the petticoat was so cute, I'll put a photo of it on screen, and it came with these little cute socks. What it didn't come with was shoes, which I'm not surprised, why would they give me a whole, whole outfit? So that's when I began looking for shoes. I thought, because of the rising popularity of demonias and platforms, I thought they'd be selling them somewhere in the car. So I began looking and realised... No, no, no. Nowhere was selling shoes. So I had to walk around the car all day either in my Funtime Foxy shoes and a Lolita dress or with Lolita socks and no shoes. As you can tell by the title of the video, I chose no shoes. It was comfortable, I felt like a child. You know how little kids run around no clothes, no shoes? I felt really, really chill, really comfortable, really happy. I probably felt so comfortable and happy, one, like I said, because the con was awesome and two, because the workers, they were awesome. They were helpful, they were recommending me clothes, they were telling me that the sizes were accurate and that they were stretchy. They were just so nice and helpful. And then when they saw me in the dress, they complimented me on it. They also did ask, like, end of the con if I did find shoes and I had to tell them I didn't. Anyway, that sums the story up. That was the story of how I walked around the con with no shoes. Pretty chaotic story, not gonna lie. I learned a few things from it, so I'm glad that it was a valuable experience. Do I regret a few things? Yeah. Did I have a good time still? Of course I did, I was with friends, I was surrounded by cosplayers, my favourite people on the planet, and I was wearing a cute outfit that I got to keep. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!